guess what? We are going to Colorado. And uh, I haven't traveled, well, I haven't traveled by plane since coming back from Portugal. And I do have a bit of some anxiety probably or PTSD from airports during that period of my, of my life. That was kind of really, really stressful. Um, but we're gonna look past that. We're gonna have a new experience. I'm traveling with family and Dylan. So like we get to just have fun and we're going to a wedding. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We're gonna keep the vibes positive. Um, so I'm kind of like going crazy on work right now to try to get as much as I can done so I don't have to work when I'm in Colorado. But I first have to go get stronger internet connection because here I do not have very good internet connection to upload videos and I need to upload some videos for you guys so that you guys aren't just like, where did she go for a whole weekend? Anyways, I'm gonna go do that, go to get a coffee, come back, finish packing, we are gonna go celebrate Dylan's nephew's birthday and then head over to my parents' house to get up really, really early in the morning to go to the airport. So, and I thought I'd take you guys along, obviously as much as I can and film what I can when I can. So let's go. Okay, I just stopped at hy because they have a Starbucks in there to get um, vanilla latte, of course. And I just thought, I forgot to tell you guys. My truck yesterday was acting so weird, like where you can hit the gas and it doesn't really go. It was also pouring rain and it felt like I was slipping all over the road. And so my truck is kind of like dying out on me, I think. I don't know. But I was even driving it today. It just seems awkward. I'm, maybe I'm over paranoid now. But yeah, when I get to the office, I'm going to do the little scanner thing to think to see it's usually it just says gas emissions on my scanner thing so like the engine red light comes on i scan it always says gas emissions i erase it always comes back on more when it rains than any other time but anyways so i'm going to run over there quick hopefully i make it over there it's not very far from here um scan that and let you guys know what that is but like i always without fail have the worst car problems. It's probably because I know nothing about cars or trucks. But we might be looking into getting a different vehicle. Not a fancy vehicle, but like a different beater. <laughs> Just not this beater. Wow, what a day so far. It's been so crazy. Things been pulling me and Dylan in a million directions. So, but luckily Dylan's letting me use his car so that I don't have to worry about breaking down on the side of the road with my truck. That's a blessing. So I'm gonna head back to the apartment quick, get some more work done, clean this car out because we're taking this up to the airport. And then we will be grabbing pizzas, presents, and going over to celebrate his nephew's birthday. Okay, so most of it's picked up already. Not much left in here. But look at all that hair. We're gonna see if we can clean that up. So here's the before. Okay, it wasn't as easy as snapping my fingers, but this little tool that I'm using in here worked really well. I'll make sure to link it in the description if you guys want it, but it took the hair off the back of the seats super easily. It is currently 5.51 and we're late because of Dylan. <laughs> he forgot to fill up the car last Excuse night. Me? You were driving my car? I drove it for like two minutes. But we're on the right, man. We'll pick up. Oh my gosh, gravel? I just washed the car. Dude, why are you? We're gonna get in a fight. Bye. <laughs> okay, fight's over. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're gonna go pick up my brother and sister-in-law, then we're gonna head up to the airport and then fly our butts to Colorado. If Yeehaw! Don't get friggin' lost. Dylan, how nervous are you for the flight? Scale well, considering I'm flying private. He's not. I thought you guys are gonna get steak in first class. He's just um, being 
being kind of like so nervous. He's trying to like psych himself up. Being facetious. Definitely. What are you doing? I'm lost. I need to find him a Kleenex. We're lost. Adam got strip searched. His wife's got her bag torn apart. <laughs> I'm taking a video. <laughs> Dylan, move closer to Adam. No, move closer to Adam. Why? Make me look short? Because he's in the background. Dylan, where are we going? Cuba? Colorado. Colorado. Are you excited? Yeah. Like how excited you want to tell Nine. Oh, I'm probably first trip with you. Are you nervous with the flight? First trip. Are you nervous with the flight? Yeah, but we got a pilot sitting right in front of us, so we're good. Yeah, we'll, we'll put in that video that we took earlier of the pilot, pilot. we met. Dylan and I decided to watch the new Twister movie together and thanks to Dylan he started the movie both of them both of the screens at the very same time so that we could be watching our own screens but watching the same movie thing to do. Yeah, it's a white Jeep with Texas adventure. plates. When we got off the plane, we were super hungry, so we found a place to eat, and my brother found this place called the Dog House. So let's go and eat some great, but so bad for you, food. After we ate, we went over to Kung Fu Tea and got some bubble tea. We were so stuffed, we probably didn't need the tea, but it just looked too good to pass up. What did you get out of here? Okay. Two, three. That's what I do. After walking around a little bit, we headed over to the house that we were staying at and then we kind of walked around some like downtown parts of the area we were staying in. And unfortunately, this brewing market wasn't open yet, so we decided to walk a little bit more and find another coffee shop. Do something cute. My cousin Mariah and her significant other, Chris, graciously hosted us for this trip and they were showing us, I think this is called Pearl Street and it's kind of like a historic little district or little area that has a bunch of old shops. I mean, newer stores, but in older buildings. It was so cute. Yeah, I can just make like a latte with a pumpkin. I do that. And then 
and medium hot. Yeah. It's one milk fun for you too. Which is uh, and then we'll After grabbing coffee and chatting a little bit, we went into this area. I don't remember the name of this place, but it was like a hiking trail and we only hiked up like a tiny little itty bitty <laughs> section to get some photos done. Ah! Hey, Dylan. Hey, Allie. Are you enjoying Colorado? Yep. Are you? Yeah. Should we show them the mountains? Time. Uh, I don't got my climbing gear either. I don't got none of my ropes. Yeah, this is spikes Dylan's or anything. Hiking gear. Yeah. For Demir. Yeah, cutesy. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of parks. I gotta go to school. Does it? Well, Park City, we were like in the mountains. This is more like. So, like, Park City. One of the new things that we both tried, I've only played once with my grandpa before, but Dylan and I tried out pickleball. And thanks to my cousins and my uncle, they kind of like taught us how to do it. And then we tried our best. That's all I'm going to say. We tried our best. Next on the list of things that I didn't expect we would be doing is going to the mall and getting a custom Vikings t-shirt made for Dylan. Because Dylan was obviously jealous of Adam's Vikings sweater as you see here. And so Dylan wanted to get his own custom t-shirt. And another reason he wanted to get a t-shirt is because we were going to a Vikings bar that we found in downtown Denver. Once we're at the bar, I'll make sure to show you guys what it looks like. This Viking bar in Colorado was a fun experience. The food was okay, um, but you'll see how interesting it got. The next morning was a bit more peaceful at this nice little coffee shop where Dylan and I went so that we could get a little bit of our work done. As you can see, I'm editing uh, the Barn Dominium videos and Dylan is checking the emails. It also started to flurry as we were leaving the coffee shop, but you're about to see a lot more snow soon. 
We are now on our way to Essex Park, which is up in the mountains, and it's kind of like a Hallmark movie scene. It's so pretty up there. And then we also went to a haunted hotel from a scary movie. That was a bit interesting as well. Um, and then you can see once we get up the mountain, there's going to be a lot more snow. Fun. We're done. Oh, whitewash? You're done. What? A whitewash? No. I don't want any of that. That sounds like racist. Well, it's when I wash your face with snow. No. Don't. Someone come arrest this man. He's harassing me. Should I just smoke at him when he comes out with the snow? We stopped for a quick bite to eat at this place called the Wapiti Pub. Not sure if I'm saying that right. The food was pretty good. We all got these fancy, nice, cushiony chairs. Nice little view out the window while it was snowing. Very picturesque. That sounds great to me. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Luxury. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, I can just delete that one. <laughs> you drive right through the yard? More guest registration. Oh, I was supposed to go right. <laughs> Post chicken and beer. Oh, I saw that as a restaurant. I didn't know it was like right next to the Stanley, though. Should I just pull up and be like, ballet, please? Toss my keys in a ghost. She <laughs> <laughs> falls on the ground. Yeah. You're dumb. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You know what? Just for that, drop you right by the front door. And I'm gonna do it right in front of these people. But they'll be like, what? Is there someone there? Be like, yep. <clears throat> you see that ghost? And they found one of the originals in Fort Collins like seven years ago and they, they had it restored. Oh, so wow. that is an original. Then this is cool with the cube. Did you guys see that? The balls and oh. Nice try. And the lobby used to be all white when it was Nope. And then when Stephen King came back in the 90s to film the miniseries here, it was all filmed here and he painted, his crew painted the lobby. There's just a mm. picture. I just see the camera. In the mirror? <laughs> so, I'll show you that. I love this built in. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. These people that have a wedding reception, they have the bar in here and the fireplace. Oh, this is beautiful. This is awesome. Yeah. Thanks for trying. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two 
what? Why are we looking for two seventeen? Pop her open, yeah. Pop her open, yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that what you mean? No, I don't think that's enough. What's, what did he say about this room? <laughs> oh, that's just the room he stayed in when he was here, or what? Yeah, that's what he said, yeah. Damn it. They could be an actual there. Oh, is it actually? Why would they do that? They, probably more expensive. Yeah. Dylan, don't. Gosh. <laughs> Guys. Good little vibration in that mirror. Must be like a waterpipe. Alright, I'm taking a picture. That's the scariest thing what I've ever seen. What if something seen. shows up in it? Um, oh my god. We gotta do it. We gotta go up one of them. Yeah. 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 Maintenance. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. I'm gonna work in for like 30 seconds. Sorry, I just left my iPhone charger in here. Because that's on you, buddy. Don't want to get fired. Don't want to get fired. The tour's gonna be here very soon in like 30, 40 seconds. So take a picture if you want. How many people got killed in this room? I know, no idea. No, no idea. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I I So that was the majority of our trip. We also had a wedding and a few other get-togethers that I didn't film, but you guys got to come along for most of it. Dylan, you ready to go home? Yeah. Me too, actually. It was fun, though. Yeah, it was. Met a lot of Allie's family. Um, probably not going to be welcomed back by about half of them, but... They all loved you. I mean, it was okay. Are you tired? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, like, the traveling part. Probably meeting everybody the first night. Oh, really? And then probably the yes, Aston Spark. Yeah, that was fun. We have to go back though. And then get sailing with your brother. Okay, bye.